Now, this may sound like an odd couple, but researchers are going to see if white-tailed deer can help protect cattle against cattle fever ticks. Cattle fever is a big problem in Mexico, and it's a continuous battle to keep from spreading it across to Texas. USDA APHIS announcing plans to lace deer feed with a drug that kills ticks and the parasite they carry. Drover's editorial director Greg Henderson has details. Cattle fever ticks continue to move northward from Mexico into Texas, putting the state's $11 billion cattle industry at risk. A permanent quarantine zone is in effect for a strip of about 10 miles of U.S. territory from around Del Rio to the Gulf of Mexico. Temporary quarantine zones have been established in northern Cameron and Willacy counties, and earlier this month a cattle fever tick was discovered on a bull in Live Oak County, 110 miles north of the permanent zone. Now federal officials are proposing a new plan to help control those ticks, feeding wild white-tailed deer a broad-spectrum anti-parasite drug. USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service wants to install gravity-fed feeding stations across a large swath of South Texas. The feeders would be mandatory on both public and private land and on private ranches with cattle within the 10-county tick quarantine area. Currently, APHIS is preparing an environmental assessment on the proposal which is associated with the Federal Cattle Fever Tick Eradication Program. Comments on the proposal can be made at the APHIS website. APHIS says the organism destroys red blood cells, causing acute anemia, high fever, and enlargement of the spleen and liver, eventually leading to death.